ready for God's word? Are you ready for God's word? When you landed here on earth, you came with a marker. Talk to a neighbor, tell them, the neighbor. When you landed here, you came with a marker. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, by the time we arrive here on earth, we are sent from heaven. And that's what the Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 and verse number 6, that there was a man sent from heaven and his name was John. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, don't you know from the day that your grandfather and your mother uh, and, your, and, 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 and your grandfather knew each other, I knew you, I ordained you to be a prophet unto the nation. Jesus speaking to Nathaniel, he said, are you not the man that I saw seated under a tree? A true Israel for sure. Look at another neighbor, tell that neighbor, hey neighbor, you came down with a destiny. I talk to them and tell them, I talk to the other neighbor and tell them, neighbor, you may not look like you have a destiny. Uh, uh, but I've come to announce to you today that there is a destiny over your life. Somebody should have said a better amen. amen. But you see, even though you have a destiny, you've got to work hard for that destiny. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. It is given, but it is worked. For it to bear to produce, it is given, but it is worked. Come, they didn't know who it was, but the 
king ordered that all the children under the age of three should be killed. What are they looking for? They are looking for a certain destiny that is supposed to deliver the children of Israel. They don't know where it is. They don't know who it is. But they've said all the children should be done what? Killed. As a result of them looking for uh, the deliverer. That's why the parents of Moses, the Bible says, when they looked at the child and the child was godly, the Bible says they hid the child. And when they couldn't hide the child anymore, they let the child on the Nile. Why? What are they doing? They are trying to keep the destiny of that child. The Bible says when they saw a star coming from the east, the Bible says there were some wise men. They knew that that star means there is a great destiny that is just about to be born. They followed the star. They followed the star. The star went into Herod's house, but it didn't stop there. They told Herod, because of what we see, a king is just about to be born. Herod told, told them, you continue following the star. When you find that child, come back and tell me that you have found him so that I can go back and pay homage to that child. The Bible says, when they had already found the child, God spoke to them that night and God told them, don't go back to Herod, because they were just about to go back to Herod. Don't go back to Herod. Go your way. And the Bible says, when Herod did not see those wise men coming back to him again, he said, all the children under three, let them be killed. Why? He's looking for a destiny. Look at a neighbor who is next to you, who is looking at me strangely. Tell them, hey, you have a destiny and you've got to fight for it. <laughs> other neighbor is not right. Turn to the other neighbor and tell the neighbor, hey, neighbor, you have a destiny and you need to fight for it. Look at this. The disciples have begun to fight. Jesus is just about to go into the cross. So the disciples have begun to fight and they are asking themselves, who is going to be the greatest among us? Jesus cuts that conversation. Listen to what he says. What does he say? Where is that scripture? Yes, fighting for your destiny. Have you written that? Take a picture. Now we tag. So we see tag Leon Dajua. You did take a picture. All right. What? Want to go? What did he say? Want to go? Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat. So they are talking. Jesus says, "My guys." Me, I've gone into the spirit realm. And there is something that I saw there. I saw Satan asking for your help. He's asking for you. He says, Simon, Simon. He calls him twice just to emphasize what he said. The, I, Satan has asked to sweep all of you. Like wheat. But listen to the answer that Jesus gives. Jesus, though being God, did not say, I've rebuked him. Jesus, being God, did not say, I am going to show you a root B. Listen to what Jesus says. What does Jesus say? Want to go. But, but I prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, in regard to your destiny, you've got to pray. You see now you're not saying amen because you thought I was going to release fire. I release fire. I release destinies in this house. I decree and declare you are coming into it. Step now. Step now. Wait. Wait. Watch I'm chosen, man. Take handkerchief. Anakusa unanguka. Ah, now the destiny has... Oh! See your next leader. Wait. Jesus being Jesus told Simon in regard to your destiny what have I done? I have prayed for you. And what has he prayed for you? Listen to what the Bible says. Want to go? Wake a scripture. Uh -huh. That Pass. your faith may not fail. So that your faith, so that you are not averted from the challenges. So as you face the challenges head on your faith Will not fail. Aha, uh -huh. want to go. And he says to him, and, uh, and, and, and when, when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. In other words, when you have been strengthened, when you have seen yourself overcoming, 
help others to overcome. Si wa condemn. Mimi nimeona kitoka quivers. So Mimi nimeona kitoka quivers na kwa peke yake. When you are strengthened, when you you have overcome quiver, help others to overcome. Usijifanye tu wewe hujaingia. No. Facebook ikiku remind. Unaitoa mbio mbio. Hallelujah. Can I show you what he told Jesus? Do you know what he told Jesus? Listen to what he said to Jesus. Want to go? But, but he, he replied, replied Lord, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. Do you see the prayers that we make? Anaambia Mungu nani? Mimi. Mimi. And then kesho tu hata si bali kesho tu Bwana asifiwe ana knock kwenu. Ama unaona text message sasa. Hii yenye uliambia Jesus, hii uliambia Jesus leo. Baba mimi mimi and you know I'm here I'm talking for myself here. Mimi baba mimi. Baba baba mimi 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 George mimi you know when you go uh, one day when i take you to my mother's house there's a calendar i've never re- removed from my room that calendar has excess zimejaivi zimejaivi what are those excess excess of this day i have marked i am not going back again then i marked another one because <laughs> you know i'm just but man me a man nime mark tena This is what this guy is saying. Hallelujah. What is he saying? But he's saying he replied, "Lord, I am I'm ready, ready to, to go with you to prison and to death." Jesus laughs and he says to him, "Listen to the next scripture." He says, "And Jesus, I, and Jesus answered, I, I tell, tell you, Peter, Peter before, before the, the rooster, rooster crows today, you will deny three times that you know me." Bwana <laughs> sifiwe. Today, hata hata sasa hata si kesho, leo leo, before the rooster does what? And the Bible tells us when the rooster had made that noise, crowed. Bwana sifiwe. The Bible says, and Peter wanted to kill himself. His destiny was about to be cut short because he could not believe that he had denied Jesus. He could not believe that he had denied Jesus. Guess what? He wanted to kill himself like Judas had done. He also wanted to kill himself because he had denied the savior. But what was being fought there? Listen, Jesus had told him in the previous scriptures, "Hey, Peter, Peter, flesh and uh, uh, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven." And he said to him, and upon this rock i shall build my church destiny and the gates of hell shall not prevail and he did not even stop there he told him and i have also given you the keys to the kingdom of heaven for whatsoever you release here on earth it is released where in heaven but when he denied jesus He wanted to kill himself. That's why Jesus is telling him, and I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail. He prayed over his destiny. Hallelujah. And Peter in the, in the book of Acts ends up becoming the leader of the church. Why? His destiny was not cut short. Look at a neighbor, tell that neighbor neighbor under this anointing your destiny will not be cut short turn to the other neighbor and tell the neighbor hey neighbor your destiny will not be cut short somebody should have said a better amen now I want to show you a scripture of a man whose destiny was cut short you know if you've watched these movies that are called 
Superman. You, 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 uh, you watch Superman. No, Kota. Kota umeka mkono hivi umeenda. Those things, they get them from scripture. There is a man in scripture who was a superman. You know those things that you see that guy, Superman, Clark Kent, is, is, is. Hata mimi nili watch Smallville. Those things. Yes, of it, when I talk about Bible, it's just that they are, they've, they've graduated to bullets. Ati jamana pigo hivi ma bullets anakuta. scripture who was a superman his strength was amazing his power was amazing thank oh uh, thank you very much i uh, appreciate that lady <laughs> lord uh, as you have done for me may the lord do for you in jesus nenda kanununulia dawa umeona sauti inaenda so that my destiny is not cut short <laughs> Wait, we need to we need to go into scripture. So <laughs> because I have a lot to tell you. Now you know when I haven't talked to you for a month, you can imagine how much I have to tell you. <laughs> Sasa, there's a guy. This guy is called Samson. You, you 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 remember that guy called Samson? Samson is like a superman. He's like a superman. Now, this Samson guy, his father was called Manoah, like Mama Manoah here. So the Israelites have been, you know, they've gone through challenges. They've gone uh, 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 out of God's will. So God has handed them, them over to the Philistines. Then they cry out to the Lord, and the Lord comes to the wife of Manoah. The wife of Manoah was, was barren. She didn't have children. So a man of God appears to him, and she says a man of God appears to him. And he says to him, uh, greetings, lady. And so the, the, he, 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 the lady greets the, the, the man back. He says, within this month, you're going to have a child. And as you have that child, this is what I want you to do. I want you to not to take alcohol. These are the orders I'm giving you. Don't take wine. Don't take alcohol. Don't take anything of the vine. And he says to him, do not also take anything unclean. Neither touch it. For the child that you're going to bear within you is a Nazarite. A Nazarite could not even touch anything dead. If your parent died, you could not even see them. Because you are not supposed to see anything dead, not to touch anything dead. He says to him, the child that is within you is going to be a Nazarite. So the, the, the guy then goes away, and the wife of Manoah goes back to, to her home, and as she goes back to her home, she, 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 she finds Manoah. She tells Manoah, <laughs> she tells the wife, the wife of Mano tells, tells Mano, now there's a guy who came. Hey, by the way, you need to, the, within this month, you need to get your act right. Kula <laughs> njugu. Amo ucheze la kashu nat. Well, that's where. So, so he tells he tells the, the, the husband, wait. <laughs> and then <laughs> I have been told not to take wine, not to take anything of the vine, not to touch anything unclean, neither to take anything that is unclean. So the wife of the, the, the Manoah listens to this story and he says to, to, to her, she says to her, Where is this? Where did where did you meet this man? So he tells him, I met this man in the field. And he says, the husband.
husband prays now to God. And he tells God, God, I want to see what she has said. I want to hear what he has heard. That's why I want to tell husbands and wives here. When you hear your husband has a vision, vision is not just for one person. God is able also to speak to you so that you don't, you, you don't hinder the call of God over his life. Tell the Lord also to reveal to you. The husband tells the wife, I am going to pray. And as I pray, I pray that the man will come back again because I need to hear what you have heard. And ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you need to hear what your wife has heard so that you don't stop her. That's the way you are reasoning. Oh, Kenya ni kugumu. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Have you heard from the Lord? Let me tell you, this thing of saying that, hey, my husband is the one who hears from God. What are you talking about? We are all heirs of salvation. Doesn't the Bible say there is neither male no female, no slave, no unslave, no Jew, no Gentile. We are all equal in the sight of God. What he has heard, you can hear. Ay. So mtu akikwambia na kupenda and the Lord revealed to me that you're going to be my wife. Usimwambie na ota. Ah. We Go back to the place of prayer like Manoah did. Are you understanding me now? God has called us to be partners. There is a business I'm thinking about and God has called me to partner with you. Don't refuse first. Ah. Pray that the Lord will reveal, reveal to you the same dream. Are you understanding me, friends? Are you understanding me, friends? Don't begin to shoot people down before you hear. So anyway, Manoah prays and he tells the Lord, I want to hear what my wife has heard. So the following day, the wife again went to the field. As she went to the field, the man came again. When the man came, the Bible says, when she saw this man, the man just came and stood because she had already told the wife of Manoah what she needs to do. So when the, when the man came, he stood and appeared to, to the wife of Manoah. When he appeared for the second time, the Bible tells us, Manoah, Manoah's wife ran to call Manoah. Are you understanding me now? Show submission. See, now we will be angel. Ata ni limu ambia jana, haku anaskia, sasa ata misi tui nifanyeje, sasa we, we, we endo muambia, we endo muongeleshe. Don't start complaining. It was a calm. I don't know what men want. Who asked you? Of course you don't know. Are you understanding? Anyway, aha. Uh -huh. So she runs, goes and calls Manoah. Manoah also runs back. Hey, she comes and she is told by the angel, "This is what I said to your wife." So the angel narrates the whole story again. The angel narrates the whole story, and as he narrates the story, Manoah hears. They do a sacrifice. They make a sacrifice. They ask the guy to stay in so that he can eat. He doesn't stay in. He says, "Let's make a sacrifice unto the Lord." And as they make the sacrifice. The Bible says, and the man ascended with the smoke. And they knew it was an angel from God. Hallelujah. And that angel is not just any other angel. That angel, ladies and gentlemen, is Jesus himself. For Manoah asks him. <laughs> so, for Manoah asks him, what is your name? The man says, my name is wonderful. My name, I am called Wonderful. And we only know there is one who is called Wonderful. Hallelujah. So the man ascends. And the Bible says, and the angel of the Lord did not appear to them again. But ladies and gentlemen, I want you to notice something here. What 
does wine and clean animals, uh, touching unclean things, have got to do with your destiny? It means that there are things that you can do that can avert your destiny. There are things you can get involved in. Because what does wine have to do with it? Simina kunyo timindi onakunyo. But he says, don't, don't touch any of these things. Because when you touch these things, what they're going to do is that they are going to take away the destiny, not just of yours and or, or, of Israel. The destiny of this child is going to be averted. And the deliverer of Israel will not come. As a result of what? Your disobedience. Then there are some of us here who have disobeyed. And that's why you need to bring yourself back to the Lord and tell the Lord, Lord, by the way, forgive me. Anyway, the child is born. And the child is born and the child looks godly and the child grows up. But the child begins to exude very interesting, interesting things. And Israel began to look upon this child for salvation. The Bible tells us one time when the child had grown up, now he's a young man, he looked at a Philistine woman. And he liked the woman. He says, ah, dad, go get for me that wife. Go get for me that woman as a wife for me. So the dad said to him, and the mother said to him, are there not women in Israel that you can date? He says, that is the one I want. So, muskiza was at Waras food. Amen? So, the, the father gathers some men. They go to the land of Philistine, and they go to get that lady. But as they are going to get that lady, Samson goes into the field. Now, God is just about to reveal to him the kind of power that he carries. Because, ladies and gentlemen, God sometimes wants to reveal to you beforehand what you carry. Hallelujah. So, he goes into the field. As he goes into the field, he meets with a lion. Now, that's a strange thing. You, from not Jew, you have seen. Lions don't walk alone. In lion gani, iko peke yake, iko mta, inazunguka tu, iko uko, eh, just having a good time. See, this is the same lion you will find in the book of 1 Kings, chapter 14, where there were two prophets, and the Bible says, one prophet disobeyed God, and a lion came from nowhere. This is the same, it's probably it changed form into a bear. That the Bible says, when the children... I uh, uh, made fun of Elijah. Two bears came from the whatever. And the Bible says they devoured the children. So Samson is walking. He meets this lion. The lion also starts roaring. Say, hey, you also, what are you doing here? <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says, and Samson gets that lion, holds that lion, dares. You know, killing is one thing. <laughs> Dare you. The Bible says he toyed like a young goat. He toyed, hey, even him, he said, wow. Hey. The Bible says, and he did not tell his parents what had happened to him. When he came back to see the carcass, because ladies and gentlemen, you've got to read this story and read it well. He had to go back and confirm that I killed a lion. He went back to confirm. And when he went back to confirm, he found because he had torn the, 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 the lion into two. Bees had come and had made a nest inside the lion. Now again, that's a strange thing. We all know bees make their nests. Hmm? Column, eh? On trees. So when he went to get the wife, the Bible says, he told them a riddle. He says, you guys, I'm going to tell you a riddle. And if you can't tell me what this riddle means, uh, you're going to pay me. But if, I, if you tell me what it means, I am going to pay you whatever you want. So when he told them the riddle, nobody, for three days, nobody could tell that riddle. Because in those days, parties were for seven days. Watch Aisha a Friday night. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. In those days, it was seven days. Mukotu, muna lala, muna amka, muna dance. Muna lala, tena, muna amka, dancing. Mukitelo ata muna amushua, eh. After three days, they couldn't tell. Hey, they 
told the, 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 they told the wife wewe 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 ndio umetuletea huyu jamaa si wendi anapenda usikize if you don't get that riddle for us we are going to burn you and your father and your household hey the lady akona men 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 says it did design akapesta samson samson if you love me tell me if you love me tell me samson got tired he says okay so I, i killed a lion and bees came into it so she went and told the guys when you told the guys samson when, when now the day of marriage came the bible tells us that samson was so angry he did not even appear he did not appear he went beat up guys got uh, the money that that were needed but when he the day of marriage came he did not appear because he was angry when he did not appear his father g- said the best man had appeared <laughs> sasa mumekuja harusi best man ametokea groom hajatokea the father kamwambia kuna haja hii maneno ipotele hivi wewe enda na huyu <laughs> best man akaenda na ye. and he became the wife when samson now came back he says now i'm ready to akaambia na budake ah me i thought you had gone i said no give me my wife he says no i'll give you the younger sister because your wife i already gave the man was so angry and he said i am going to burn down all this the land of the philistine do you know what he did he went and got 300 foxes let me tell you <laughs> if this is not superman i don't know for us to get a fox you have to get a, a gun put in tranquilizer shoot ilale ndio ishike samson did not catch one neither two no five 10 no 10 uh, 20 ah 100 no 300 you if if this is not superman how was he catching them he caught 300 foxes and the bible says as he caught the foxes he kept them now now I was telling people in first service i don't know hizo siku kwa kuku ana fence sasa si jua lizie kaje ti ameka barbed wire ingieni huko ndani so i don't know how he kept them because the bible says he kept them so maybe me kama superman ki ona ile superman anazizunguka hivi mbio mbio haraka haraka if foxes zinasema eh sawa sawa twendi mahali eh ni sawa ni sawa tutaenda tu we have no to realize who you are Listen now to what he does. He tells the foxes, foxes, two by two, you come how many? Two by two. He anazishikamkia. You are seeing it. Ah, uh, see. Wait. <laughs> anashikamkia zake mbili. Anaweka torch katikati ya mkia. Anawasha, anazirelease. Anaziambia go into the field of the Philistine. Hizo zingine zimengoja zime, zime zingine mbili zinakuja <laughs> Now if that is not superman who is he Wewe nimekwambia ukienda when you go up country jaribu kushika fox You will understand the story So anyway the man burns down the whole land of the Philistine where they had put wheat when they came back the, the, the following morning he says who did this they said Samson Samson is the one who did all this he was avenging because of his wife who was taken by the best man the Philistine they go to Judah they tell guys in Judah we are going to beat all of you so go get uh, Samson so Samson 3000 men from Judah go into the cave because they knew where Samson is they go into the cave they get Samson they tell Samson Samson we sincerely we need to tie you down you know someone who is stronger than you <laughs> you go with humility say please wacha tukuta we are going to tie you hakuna shida wewe usiogope Samson tells them tie me tie me up nifungeni vizuri but don't kill me but it's not like they would kill him because it's just that Samson did not want them to fight against him because they are his brothers he would have killed his brothers so he's telling them listen guys but don't fight against me don't try to kill me because when you try to kill me something will arise inside of me and i will destroy all of you 
So he, they, they, they get the guy. Wakampeleka. When he met the Philistine, a thousand men had come to get him with clubs, swords, spears, and arrows. When Samson saw them, the Bible says, and the things they had tied him with were like ropes that had already been burned. He just did. And they tore. The Bible says, and he picked a jawbone of a donkey. And he told the Philistine, come, baby, come. <laughs> now, you need to read that story very well. Because ladies and gentlemen, these guys have come with clubs, they have come with spears, they have come with swords, they have come with arrows. Sinili kuambia ni kama superman, vile anashuti wangwa, bado anayenda hivi. So they are sending arrows. Jamatu anakuja tu, anakuja tu with his jawbone. The Bible says, and in that day in the land of Philistine, there was a great slaughter. All those a thousand men who had come against him, he killed them with a jawbone of a donkey. Not even an instrument of war. Ni ile tu alipata. Apo. Aka sema hii. Wacha hii nisaidie. Aka wapiga nayo, they all died. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a man who has a great destiny ahead of him. My time is gone. I need to stop this story here. <laughs> it's already one. Sasa, Samson, naye pia alikuwa na shida na madem. Sasa, aka mitena Delilah. Ah! Anyway, tuacha tuone maimaneno ya Delilah, alafu tu nimalizi hapo. Nimalizi, I'll pick it up next Sunday. You need to come. Do, do you see why you need to invite somebody to come? Yes, I'm just convincing you. Ah. <laughs> Judges chapter 16 and verse number 4, go all the way up to, we are, we are going to go down, we are going to go down uh, to 20 something. Take me to the scriptures. Take me to the scriptures. Hmm? Biu, biu. Eh, enda tui kwa hizi ziko sawa. Ah, uh, uh, 23, go back to 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. This is where we will finish. <laughs> All right. Well, can we read together? Quickly, quickly, yeah? Want to go? Some time later, he fell, fell in, love in love with, with a woman, woman in the valley of Sorek, uh -huh. whose name was Delilah. Uh -huh. Let's go. The ruler the of, of the Philistines, Philistines went to her and said, See if you can lure him into showing you the secret of his great, great strength power. and how we can overpower him so we may tie him up and subdue him. Each one of us will give you 1,100 shekels of silver. So he, this woman is promised something, but whatever he is promised, he's, he's, he, they just want one thing. They want to know the secret of Samson. They have also seen that this is unusual. The way this church is growing is unusual. The way God is working with you is unusual. The way you are commanding space in the media is unusual. The way you are doing things, yani woke ya kaivi post, tunona a thousand comments. Now you just told us, good morning. <laughs> it is unusual. They want to find out, where are you getting your? Can I show you? Uh -huh. Let's go on, let's go on. Want to go? So, so Delilah said say to, to Samson, Samson tell, tell me the, the secret, secret of, of your, your great, great strength power. and how you can be tied up and subdued. Uh -huh. So even the lady tells him, by the way, we want to subdue you. <laughs> so tell us what is your great power? Power. Uh -huh. Samson so answered her, if, if anyone ties me with seven fresh bowstrings that uh -huh. have not been dried, I'll become as weak as any other man. Okay. Uh -huh. Then the, the rulers, rulers of, of the, the Philistines, Philistines brought her seven fresh bowstrings that had not been dried, and she tied him with them. Uh -huh. What happened? With the... men hidden in the room, she called to him, Samson, Samson the, the Philistines, Philistines are, are upon you. you. But he snapped the bowstrings as easily as a piece of string snaps when it comes close to a flame. So the secret of his strength was, was not, not discovered. discovered. Aha, so strike one. Strike then two. Delilah then, said to Samson, uh, you have you made, made a, a fool, fool of me. me. You lied to me. Come now, tell me how you can be tied. Aha. Uh -huh. Go on, go on quickly. 
He She said, said if, if anyone ties me securely with, with new ropes, ropes that have, been, have never been used, I'll, I'll become, become as weak, weak as, as any other man. Uh -huh. Go on. So, so Delilah, Delilah took new ropes and tied him ropes. with them. Mm -hmm. Then, with men hidden in the room, she called to him, Samson, Samson the, the Philistines, Philistines are upon you. you. But he snapped the ropes off his arms as if they were threads. Uh -huh. Delilah, Delilah then said to Samson, Samson all this time you have been making a fool of me and lying to me. Tell me how you can be tied. He replied, if you weave the seven braids of my head into the fabric on the loom and tighten it with the pin, I'll become as weak as any other man. So while he was sleeping, Delilah took the seven braids of his head, wove them into the fabric and tightened it with the pin. Again, she called to him, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. He awoke from his sleep and pulled up the pin and the loom with the fabric. Now, I don't understand what kind of sleep is this, but anyway, let's go and delay. Uh -huh. go on. Then she said to him, uh -huh. how can you say I love, I love you, you when you won't confide in me? Uh -huh. This is the third time you have made a fool of me and haven't told me the, the secret, secret of, of your, your great strength. strength. Uh -huh. With such nagging, she prodded him day after day until he was sick to death of it. Let those who have one hear, hear what the spirit is. Watch and see and the I can be, I can be beaten down here. Me people up in the two side. Uh huh. Go on. So he told her everything. everything. No, no razor has, has ever, ever been, been used on my, on my head, head, he said, because I have been a Nazarite dedicated to God from my mother's womb. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me, and I would become as weak as, as any, any other, other man. man. Uh -huh. Go on. Then when Delilah saw that he had told her everything, oh she God. sent word to the rulers of the Philistines, come, come back once more, uh -huh. he has told me everything. So, so the, the rulers of the Philistines returned with the silver in their hands. Uh -huh. Go on. After, After putting him to sleep on her lap, sleeper. she called for someone to shave off the seven braids of his hair uh -huh. and so began to subdue him uh -huh. and his strength left him. And his strength left him. Let's go on. Uh -huh. Go on. She then she called, Samson, the, the Philistines are, are upon you. you. He, he awoke, awoke from his sleep free. and thought, I'll go out as before and, and shake, shake myself, myself free. free. But he did not know that the Lord had left him. My God, my God. Go on, go on, quickly. Then, then the Philistines seized him, gouged out his eyes, and took him down to Gaza. Binding him with bronze shackles, they set him to grinding grain in the prison. Uh -huh. But the hair yeah. on his head began, began to, to grow, grow again, again. You need after to it that. had been shaved. Uh -huh. Go on. Now, now the, the rulers, rulers of, of the Philistines, Philistines assembled to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon, their god, and to celebrate, saying, Our god has delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hands. Do you see why you can, your destiny cannot fail? Because they are going to mock our god. Yes. They are going to mock our god. That's why your destiny has got to come to pass. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That's why that event has got to fill up. To fill up. Not because of anything, because they are going to mock our. Let's see, let's see this thing. Uh -huh. well, uh, we are just about to finish. Don't worry. Hey, wake up. Uh -huh. When the people saw him, they praised their God, saying, Oh, And when you continue to read this story, ladies and gentlemen, you will see his hair grew up again. But he did not have the strength that he once had. 
before. Because when he got into the temple, when they had wanted to entertain themselves, the Bible says, and he told a young man, take me to where the pillars of this great building is. And he took them to two pillars. And he told the Lord, I would have shown you in scripture, he told the Lord, Lord, strengthen me this one more time. That I may die and alongside these Philistines would die as well. The covenant was that his hair was going to be the, phys the physical covenant that he makes with God. That no razor shall come upon his head because no sooner the razor had come upon his head, he stopped being a Nazarite. And ladies and gentlemen, listen to me and listen to me carefully. There are covenants that you made with the Lord in your days of obscurity. Those covenants that you made with the Lord, those act as a touching point to the power of the Spirit upon your life. The covenant that, the, that I made with the Lord, that I will never worship any other God. That word worship is not just to go to the Mganga and to the witch doctor and to the sorcerer. No, I will never raise anything above God. So that the power of God will always be present in this house. That's a covenant that you make with the Lord. And some of us made covenants with the Lord, but you have gone back. You told the Lord, if only you would bless me, I would be a blessing to the people of God. God blessed you. You forgot. That child that you were supposed to take back to the, to the house of God, you have never taken that child back. You held on to him because you loved him. The strength of Solomon, ladies and gentlemen, was not in his hair. And he woke up. And he shook himself like he did before. But he did not know that the Lord had left him. That is where the strength was. But the point of contact was the covenant that he had covenanted with God. That his hair would never be touched with a razor. The hair grew back again. But without the spirit of God, even when the hair grew into locks or seven of them like he did before. It was nothing. He had now to pray again and tell the Lord, if you would strengthen me this one more. And we've come to the end of our service today. And I have a question. I have two questions for you. There are some of us here And we are going to pray for you. The covenant that you made with the Lord, you backslid it. Or you are in this house and you've never made a covenant of salvation with the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord resides with men of covenant. And so I want to ask you a question. The way you are living, are you still in the covenant? And me, I want to pray for people here, like we did in the first service, and many people lifted up their hands. Because I'll not ask you to come in front here. Because some of us are even leaders. But God is saying, the reason why I'm bringing this message is because I want your destiny not to be lost. For heaven's sake, I didn't send you here on earth to lose your destiny. That was not my purpose. No. My purpose, and exactly like it happened in the first service, it has happened again. Those who are here, the, the worship team, band, you, you are here. When I talked about destiny and the covenant, light went off. 
in the first hand, they are, they, 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 the guys are here, they can tell you. I want us to, some of us here, to reconnect back with God. That this will not be our story. Can you imagine a superman? This our superman, they gorged off his eyes. Because he had lost his destiny. But thank God for restoration. He was able to be restored. But he only judged Israel for 20 years. He is the one who judged Israel for the shortest time. I can guarantee you that was not his destiny. He was supposed to judge Israel for many years. Why don't we stand up? Thank you guys for staying with me. I sincerely appreciate it. And with every head bowed, this is a solemn moment. Please, no moving out, no looking around. I want every eye closed, every eye closed, because this is a solemn moment. All the way to the balcony, till the end, the last seat there. I want to ask the first question today. Are you here and your covenant with the Lord, the covenant of salvation, is compromised? Are you here? Are you here? Lift up that hand. I'm going to pray with you wherever you are. Oh, you! I see that hand. Thank you for those hands. I see those hands. I see those hands. Many hands here. Many hands here. Many hands here. Many hands here. Oh no! Upstairs, where are you? Lift up that hand. Lift up. I see a hand all the way. All the way. All the way. I see another one all the way. The last one. Lift up. I see hands here. I see many hands across this room. You're saying, I want my life restored today. My covenant with God has got to be restored today. Today. Not tomorrow. Today. Restored. Today. On the 4th of June. I can say again. That from this service I can say I am born again. I see many hands. Alex, what are you doing? What are you still doing? Take not thy holy spirit from me. Joy of salvation. I want some people upstairs to pray with people. I'm sending some people to pray with you wherever you are. The rest of us with every eye closed. Because this is a solemn moment. This is a solemn moment. I see. I can't even count the hands that I'm seeing. From thy presence, O Lord. Take not thy holy. Take not your spirit from us. Restore to me the joy of my soul. Father, and renew a right spirit within me. Would you cast me, Lord? Chacha, help me. There's so many people. to pray with you and until somebody prays with you don't put down that hand
Malukis, where are you? David, you cast me not away from thy presence, oh Lord. Take Don't take, take, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore, restore. Restore to me. Won't you restore the joy? Don't put that hand out until somebody prays with you. Until somebody prays with you. From thy presence, take Lord, thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore, restore that joy. That joy. The second category of people. And this is probably it's all of us. There are some people who made a covenant with the Lord and they told the Lord, Lord, if you bless me with a job, if you bless me with an anointing, if you bless me with a grace, if you bless me with a husband, if you bless me with a wife, if you can only bless me with a breakthrough, Lord, this is what I am going to do for you. I will serve in your house all the days of my life. And to many of us, we have not fulfilled the covenant that we made with the Lord. If you're that person who is saying to me, and probably that's many of us here, lift up that hand, I want to pray with you. I have a mandate from God, I have a mandate from God of restoration today. Lord, look at all these hands that are lifted here. Look at all these hands that are lifted, Heavenly Father. These are men and women who made a covenant with you. But Lord, we forgot no sooner. Had you blessed us, oh God, we forgot. No sooner had you come through for us, we forgot. You said, Lord, if you give me a husband, I'm going to do ABCD. If you give me a wife, I'm going to do a business. If you give me a job, lift up that hand. If you know that you have not kept that covenant with the Lord, if you know you have not kept that covenant with the Lord, lift that hand high and tell the Lord, Lord, forgive me. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, look at all these hands all the way up to the balcony, oh God. You know each one of us by name. And you know the covenants that we have made with you, O oh God. And Lord, we have not kept our covenants. You who is faithful, you kept your covenant. You who is faithful, you kept your covenant. But our end of bargain, Lord, we didn't keep. I pray for every person, Lord, that today there will be restoration. Won't, won't you open up your mouth again and make that covenant with the Lord? Make that covenant again with the Lord. Make that covenant again with the Lord and tell the Lord, 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 it is true that you blessed me. It is true that you blessed me. I asked you to become a millionaire and true enough, Lord, I've become. I make the covenant again with you. And help me, O oh God, help me, O oh God, help me, O oh God, help me, O oh God. To keep and to be faithful. And all those of you who are watching me online, watching me online right now, 
if that is you, why don't you write right there? There's somebody responding to you. There's somebody responding to you. There's somebody responding to you. Caleb and the team. There's somebody responding to you right now. Let there be restoration in your life. Let there be restoration in your life. Let there be restoration in your life. Let there be restoration in your life in the name of Jesus. Take just 30 seconds, 30 seconds and let's pray. 30 seconds and let's pray. Let's pray in this auditorium. Let's pray in this room. 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 Pray in this room. Pray in this room. That our destinies will not be cut short as a result of us going back on the covenant that we made with the Lord. Remember that day. Remember that day when you were hard pressed and you told the Lord if you only deliver me. If you only deliver me Lord. If you only deliver me Lord. I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do. We are recalibrating again. We are recalibrating again. We are finding our way. We are finding our way. Right for me, is it right for me? Raba zaka yanda la raba hasi akando. Rekesta kala la raba hosi akanda. A city lighters church, oh God. There shall never be any other God praised in this house. That's the covenant we make with you, Lord. Nobody will be praised in this house. Not me, never. Jesus. Jesus, take center stage in this house. Jesus take center stage in this house. Jesus, that is the covenant we make with you as a leadership team. No God shall be lifted in this house. Holy Spirit, where we've gone astray, bring us back. Lift up your hands as we tell the Lord as a touch. Say to the
receive our covenant today, O oh God, both as individuals and as a congregation, be the center of our lives. For Lord, it's only about you. We are so sorry for the things that we have made it. But Lord, it's all about you. You are the God of city lighters. And you are the God of the children of city lighters. And we make a covenant, Lord, that we will worship no other. We will praise no other. We will lift up no other name, O oh God, but yours. When we are in trouble, Lord, then we will run to you because you are our God. We will not run to men. We will run to you, O oh God. Thank you for your word that has come to us, O oh God, today expressly. We pray that we will be men who will keep the covenant of God. So receive our sacrifice today, O oh God. Receive our sacrifice, O oh God. Receive our sacrifice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. children, we are long gone and our children are leading this ministry. Let it be known. Let this video be played. That in this church we shall not lift up systems above our God. We shall not lift up men above our God. We shall not lift up anything above our God. For this, ladies and gentlemen, what you are seeing is the doing of this church the head of this church the Holy Spirit our comforter the Holy Spirit Palacritus come on somebody appreciate 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 God we love you Lord in Jesus mighty name and everybody say lift up your offering unto the Lord Raise your offering unto the Lord as we come to give to him.